Fellow Guyanese, I address you on an unsettling development in relation to the unlawful claim by Venezuela to Guyana's Essequibo region, which constitutes more than two thirds of Guyana's national territory. Tonight, President Maduro announced several measures which his government intends to take in enforcing the outcome of the referendum held on December 3rd, 2023. As I made clear from the date the referendum was first announced, this is a direct threat to Guyana's territorial integrity, sovereignty, and political independence, and in violation of fundamental principles of international law enshrined in the UN and OS charters. The measures announced are in blatant disregard of the order given by the International Court of Justice on December 1st, 2023. Ghana views this as an imminent threat to its territorial integrity and will intensify precautionary measures to safeguard its territory. I have tonight spoken to the Secretary General of the United Nations and several leaders alerting them of these dangerous developments and the desperate actions of President Maduro that fly in the face of international law and constitute a grave threat to international peace and security. Also, Ghana will tomorrow bring this matter to the United Nations Security Council for appropriate action to be taken by that body. Further, we've engaged CARICOM, the OS, the Commonwealth, and many of our bilateral partners, including the United States of America, Brazil, the United Kingdom, and France. The Ghana Defense Force is on full alert and has engaged its military counterparts, including the U.S. Southern Command. By defying the court, Venezuela has rejected international law, the rule of law generally, fundamental justice and morality, and the preservation of international peace and security. They have literally declared themselves an outlaw nation. Nothing they do, however, will stop Guyana from proceeding with a case in the ICJ, or stop the ICJ from ultimately issuing its final judgment on the merits of the case. We will not allow our territory to be violated, nor the development of our country to be stymied by this desperate threat. In addition to this statement, I wish to respond to two questions. One from Starbuck News, which states, and I will read the question, will the Guyana government report President Maduro's announcement this evening to the United Nations Security Council? and the International Court of Justice in light of the latter's order that there be no aggravation of the circumstances. In relation to this question, absolutely, Guyana will be reporting this matter. We have already spoken to the UNSG, and early in the morning, we will be officially writing the UN Security Council. We will be, infor we will be, we will be informing the court of this development, and as I said, in the next 24 hours, we'll be informing all our bilateral partners and different agencies, including CARICOM and Conwell and the OS, on this recent development. Let me be very clear that President Maduro's action is an open defiance of the ICJ order. In my opinion, he's testing the metal of the ICJ. He has taken a lonely and worrisome road of neglecting his responsibility as a member of the UN family. An adventurous and reckless path that can only bring instability to this region and can only create more uncertain circumstances for the Venezuelan people. We urge President Maduro, to rethink these missteps and to act and behave in accordance with international law. All our actions and everything we do from Guyana 
is aimed at ensuring this region remains a region of peace. We want nothing. Our only ambition is for this region to remain a region of peace, a zone of peace, and for the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Guyana to be respected. We ask for nothing more or nothing less. So yes, this matter will be reported. We have already engaged. And the second question is from the Guyana Times. What is government's message to investors in light of Venezuela's position? Our message is very clear. Your investment is in a safe, democratic, stable country in which the rule of law prevails. You have nothing to worry about when you invest in a country that governs itself in accordance with the rule of law, that stands on the side of democracy, and that understands what true freedom is. So there is nothing to fear. Our international partners and international community are ready to support us. They have assured us of their support. And all we want is for these missteps to be corrected by President Maduro. And for Venezuela and the government of Venezuela to commit itself to peace and to act in a manner that is befitting of a member of the United Nations family. To my fellow Guyanese, we are here to ensure the safety of this country, the territorial integrity of this country, the sovereignty of this country, and to protect every citizen. Tonight, I wanted to bring every Guyanese together to advise you on the steps your government is taking in relation to this latest, in relation to the latest actions by Venezuela and these grave missteps by President Maduro. I thank you and God bless you.